Hey guys, welcome into our channel. Uh, let's get straight to it. If you're a fan of um, the Scream franchise or horror in general, you got a big early Christmas present today in the form of the uh, Scream 6 teaser trailer dropping from Paramount. So I am really excited about this. Before we get into it, I just want to say there's only a few things I know about this upcoming movie. Uh, one is that it's supposed to either somewhat take place or fully take place in New York City, which is kind of exciting. And secondly, uh, and you know, more importantly, Neff Campbell, Sidney Prescott will not be in this uh, new sequel to the Scream in the Scream franchise. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, other little things I know: I know Mason Gooding is back, Jenny Ortega. Um, Courtney Cox, as Gail Weathers, and some others. I don't want to mention those others because I'm not sure if they're going to be in the teaser trailer or not. It might spoil some things. Uh, but uh, with that said, let's get straight into this. Started. Oh, nice shots. Beautiful shots. Halloween? Halloween or just a normal day in New York City? Yeah, a normal day. A normal day. Oh, oh multiples. Guys? Alright, so uh, my immediate thoughts on this is, um, first of all, I love the logo with the Scream 6 with the Roman numerals. For some reason, I am a stickler for Roman numerals. I grew up as a WWF, WWE fan, watching WrestleMania, and any time they didn't use the Roman numerals and use the regular numbers, it just it, it just bothered me to know it. I don't know why. Is there anyone out there that's kind of like that? Uh, I just think it's more class, you know, classy looking with the, the Roman numerals, um, which is... Uh, interesting because the last movie, Scream 5, didn't use any type of that to indicate Scream 5. But, uh, and I love, by the way, uh, fun fact, that we're getting a Scream sequel just a little bit over a year after the last one. The last one was in January. This one's going to be in March of 2023. I, I can't wait. Uh, some other notes. Um, I like the the use of... Uh, the shots of New York City seem excellent so far, so I'm trying to... Um, again, you know, I'm not sure if that scene in, that we saw in the trailer is going to be used in the movie or not. Um, but I'm hoping against hope that they really fully invest themselves into New York City for this movie. Um, I think it would be a, a lot of fun to play around with that. Now that we're out of Woodsboro, I think. Uh, and now that we're, you know, without the the lead character in this franchise, Nev Campbell, Cindy Prescott's gone. So I think in a good way... The, the silver lining is that they, without the anchor of Sidney Prescott, the franchise can play around a little more. I fully believe that uh, Nev Campbell, whether it's the next one or not, will be back uh, down the line to you know pick up the role of Sidney Prescott. I fully believe that it happened with Jamie Lee Curtis um, and some other you know leads and horror films. You know maybe this break is warranted a little on both sides, even though it was a money issue on her part. Uh, or in all their parts. Uh, but I think he, getting this little breather from that character might, as much as I love her, might help the franchise, uh, uh, you know, be rejuvenated a little, add a little spark to it. And who knows? We'll have to see about that. Um, uh, what else? I like the subway sounds, the shots of New York City. Like I said, fully invested. I hope it doesn't end up like Jason Takes Manhattan. Uh, if you don't know about Jason Takes Manhattan, that's a Friday the 13th movie with Jason Voorhees. Way back in part 8 in the 80s, they promised Jason would be rampaging through New York. And we got a great poster, we got a great teaser trailer like this one. And we got like less than 30 seconds of him in New York. And even those scenes themselves weren't even shot in New York City. I think they were shot in Canada. So it just really felt weird and it was just a horrible payoff. 
Uh, we really felt jip. With this one, I don't think they're going to go that route, but, you know, we have to see. Um, but, yeah, you know, what are your thoughts uh, about the franchise heading out of Woodsboro, potentially, for the whole movie or a big portion of the movie? What are your thoughts about Neff Campbell not coming back? Um, sound off down below if you're a fan of the franchise and if you have anything to add to this. So I hope you enjoyed watching the teaser trailer with me, and we'll see you next time.